girls and uh, welcome to yet another edition of Take No Prisoners. My name is Jerry Humphrey and uh, behind me is our director Steve Hester. Ben's not here today. He got busy. Uh, actually we were totally unprepared for this. That's why he's not here and we didn't bother telling him. But uh, as you can see this is our control room we work in and if you look over here you can see our bands tonight are going to be, we're going to feature two bands tonight instead of one. Uh, Smiling Sacrifice and Radiation Sickness. Smiling Sacrifice is from uh, the Flint area and Radiation Sickness is from Indianapolis, Indiana. And uh, we're also going to have a couple, introduce some new comedy segments tonight. Uh, we finished off our Twin Peaks, I hope you noticed that. We killed everybody off in a cast. And we're going to, well, we've got a new, a couple new things we're going to show you. And uh, before I, I don't really want to tip you off, they're going to be nice though. A lot of culture, a lot of class. Uh, usual representation of Take No Prisoners. But first, we're going to, uh, well, we might as well go right into it, and I'll get back to my Zap magazine. We're going to show some footage. I was reading it. We're going to go show some footage of uh, First Smiling Sacrifice, recorded live at the Capitol Theater, and you don't want to miss this opening as uh, Brian Orr gets married. And uh, I guess that's it. I'm going to turn this off and get back to my reading.
Good morning, Bob. I see the Lord has blessed us with another gorgeous day. Why, the birds are singing, the sun is beaming, the air is fresh, and I just... Oh. For heaven's sakes, Bob, don't tell me you've been hitting the bottle already. You're certainly setting a poor example for those boys. You call those figlets you're raising, boys? Listen, Steve, I don't know what you're smoking in that pipe of yours, but when are you going to realize that your boys ain't nothing but a bunch of cross-dressing fruits? Oh, settle down, Bob, and remember that adolescence can be a very, very difficult period of adjustment for a young man. Since when? When I was 12 years old, I'd already knocked up my first prostitute and killed my first landlord. That's my point precisely, Bob. We've all behaved rather strangely passing from boyhood to manhood, and what is it that excludes my boys from this difficult phase? Oh, I don't know. How about pantyhose and breast implants? Damn it, Steve. That kind of crap just ain't normal. Bob, admit it. You're just a Neanderthal. You can leave a religion out of this, Steve. Just leave it right out of it. This has nothing to do with my religion. We're talking about a house full of freaking fairies. Let's just drop this whole subject. It's, it's time to call the boys to breakfast. Hey, Robbie. Robbie! Good morning, Papa. Good morning, Auntie Bob. Oh, I'm simply famished. Sit down and shut up, Roberta. I have some cereal. Well, darn it, Auntie Bob. Not Fruit Loops again. Yeah. Fruit Loops again. You ever heard of the old saying, you are what you eat? Oh, Papa, why does Auntie Bob persecute us so? Well, Robbie, your Uncle Bob means well. He's just he's just uptight about your sexual rebirth as a she-male. And, uh, by the way, what's keeping those brothers of yours? Who would want you to be tardy for school? Oh, they're on their way. Chippy's having some problems with the curling iron, and Ernestine's fixing a nasty run in his nylon. Oh, God. Steve, how long do we have to put up with this? Listen, if the guys down at the VFW Hall found out that I was playing nursemaid to a bunch of switch hitters, I'd be left right out of this town. For the last time, Bob, I'm asking you to lay off the boys. <laughs> Could you please rephrase that, Steve? Maybe the neighbors had heard it, and I don't want them to get the wrong idea. Okay. Good morning, Father. Good morning, Uncle Bob. Don't even think of it, Cupcake. Oh, Auntie Bob, you're such a home on phone. What kind of crack is that? You mean something that land, lives on land and water? You're not making sense. What Ernie means, Bob, is that uh, you have a paranoia regarding your own sexuality. Oh, in that case, thank you, Ernestine. Well, boys, what's new at school with you three? Oh, Papa, Papa, me first, me first. Oh, today's the day I learned the results of the homecoming queen vote. Though well, I do hope Auntie Bob's decision to break the principal's legs will corrupt the outcome in my favor. I've already picked out a strapless gown that looks absolutely divine. I've even plucked out all the hairs on my back. Now, that's good for you, Rob, and you'll make a very deserving queen. I've got some exciting news also, Father. Mm -hmm. You know that gym teacher I've been telling you about? Mm -hmm. You don't mean Thor Bronson. Yes, Auntie Bob, that's him. Well, he slapped me on the buttocks yesterday after a great serve during badminton. My heart almost fluttered right out of my mouth. Well, tomorrow, after gym class, I'm thinking about asking him for his fist in marriage. <laughs> I think that's great, Chippy. Just don't fall apart if Mr. Bronson turns you down. Mm -hmm. Fall apart? Fall apart? You little fairy, you'll be damn lucky if Thor Bronson doesn't take you with a straight razor, gut you, and hang you from the highest bleacher. Bob, that was entirely out of line. I mean, surely you've even been in love before. Not since you made me cancel my subscription to D-Cup Digest, you fascist prude. Well, what about our little Ernie? What's new with you, son? Well, I'm just in a titter, Papa. As you know, for the past several weeks, I've been attempting to organize an after-school after shelter for abused transvestites. So far, the only class we sign up for are Chippy and Roberta. I wish all of our fellow queens would liberate themselves from the closet. We must end the senseless plague of campus fig bashing. Otherwise, everything is swell. Yesterday, Mrs. Brandon presented me with my own key to the home ick room. I was so delighted I wet my boomers. Oh, God. All right, you 
your little rosebuds. It's time to head for the bus stop. Grab your lunch sacks and head for the door. Well, not another can of Manhandler's beef barley. Golly, Auntie Bob, not any more venison meatballs. Gee whiz, we have to have head cheese and saltines every day. You know, I believe the boys have a legitimate gripe there, Bob. I mean, couldn't you bury the menu now and then? Ah, quit your whining, kids, before your damn mascara drips all over my clean floor. Starting tomorrow, no more head cheese, no more venison. I'm gonna put you all on a strict diet of pork rinds and malt liquor. Well, how about some banana yogurt? Oh. How about some cupcakes with smiley faces and the icing? Yeah. Auntie Bub, you are a complete ogre. Now watch it there. Watch your tongue, Ernestine. I've never laid a hand on a sheep. I believe Ernie's trying to tell you that you're just an old curmudgeon, Bub. Now don't you start in on me, Steve. You been a person who collects dead flies? Forget it, Bub, and uh, have a nice day, boys. Yeah, we'll see you later, you sack of lollipops. <laughs> Get out of here. Listen, Bob. You can't call my boys a sack of lollipops. They're my sons. Okay, they're a bunch of fruits. Fruits? You're nothing but a redneck. They're fruits. You're a redneck. Fruits! You're a redneck. Fruits! You're a redneck. Fruits! 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 You're a redneck. Oh, hi boys and girls, uh, oh, I mean hi boys and girls. Once again, uh, Take No Prisoners slaughters the uh, typical wholesome American family and uh, manages to offend just about everybody out there. If you were offended by that, don't bother calling us because we don't care. Um, so we're going to get right into our uh, what we do usually on this show, and that's play music. Hope you enjoyed Smiling Sacrifice, and uh, we're going to feature a band from Indianapolis, Indiana, and this is Radiation Sickness. i got to finish this dirty dog.
Yeah, we're gonna mellow. But I won't 
were done were radiation sickness. Well, boys and girls, it looks like that's about the end of the show. Um, boy, I'm a little tired. Um, we hope that we brought a little culture to Flint and uh, with that beer belly ballet. We like to put Flint on the map and uh, take no prisoners in a garbage can where it belongs. Hope you enjoyed the two bands you saw today. Um, what were they now? Uh, oh, yeah, Smiling Sacrifice and Radiation Sickness. And, of course, we hope you enjoyed my three she -mails. We hope you weren't too offended by that. Um... Yeah, you got anything to say, Steve? Uh, blowing nostril, wind into the microphone. Okay. Anyways, we're about ready to wrap this up. And remember to uh, stay tuned in two more weeks because we'll be on the air with the same thing. In case you didn't get sick enough the first time, we can always play it again for you. And uh, thanks for tuning in. What can I say? Ben will be back next time. Thank <laughs> you.